With words and with bullets, people in Thailand and Cambodia have been fighting over the Preah Vihir Temple for over a hundred years. The last bullet was fired just two years ago. But there's hope for clarity on Monday. The UN's International Court of Justice is expected to rule on who owns the land around the temple. Cambodia controls the Preah Vihir Temple itself. That was established by the ICJ back in 1962. What's in question now is a 4.6 square kilometer area next to the temple. Previously, Thai merchants set up shop there, and there was visitor access from the Thai side through this disputed zone. And after this most recent exchange of gunfire, the area was cleared, and the Cambodian government sought clarification from the court on its ruling 51 years ago. Parwat Panam Sai teaches at this school just inside the Thai border. Artillery shells fell on the campus two years ago. The students had left an hour before. We sat down with him in a bunker reserved for his fourth grade class. When we were told that the ICJ would make a ruling, half of the students were absent from school. After the verdict, the children would not be able to come back for another week. Preva here is a huge political issue in both countries. Nationalists have taken it up as a cause. Army generals from Thailand and Cambodia meeting here on the Thai side of the border just hours before the court ruling is due. The governments have said relations are good, but this meeting is to ensure that there's coordination between the armed forces. The Thai government is already on edge with thousands of opposition protesters on the streets. If the ruling goes in Cambodia's favor, the opposition could use it to its advantage. If the court make the decision or have a verdict that the whole land belongs to the Cambodian government, I think it's going to be a big crisis in Thai politics. The road that leads to the border was sealed last week. It goes through the Thai National Park where Sawat Lumpong works. Some nationalist groups, they want our land back. Even I want our land back because we've been in the area. But we have to accept the verdict from the ICJ as we are a member of the UN. No matter which way the verdict falls, both nations say they will work to avoid further cross-border conflict. But it's the political conflicts inside each country that could be their biggest challenge. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, on the Thai-Cambodia border.